Okay, today is Tuesday. I think like 17th or 18th, maybe. 18th, and uh, we're out by Blythe, a few miles before Blythe, Mesa Verde area. Kay's collecting fossils. This is one of her favorite spots to find fossils. I'm not too good at it, so I'm going to have some chicken right now. <laughs> Here's kind of the, here's sort of the the stuff Kay's finding. Now to the average person like me, this will just look like a rock, but right here, there's a little critter there. It has little legs and everything. When this used to be underwater. So that's the kind of stuff she's looking for. Here's a pretty good one, can you see the shell? you'll be able to see it in the dark of the car but see all the critters mm -hmm. right here yep and down here and there's a piece of a shell right there here's a stalk of um, coral here's another coral stalk mm -hmm. there's that's the impression of a um, crinoid Day two, Wednesday, we're out here again. Kay's finding fossils. So far as of yesterday, she found about a half bucket full to my zero. Yeah, she's got the eye for finding these things. And it's, I did find one good one a long time ago. She even made some jewelry out of it. It was so good, but that was it. I just can't seem to find these little critters. But she's having a good time. We want to get an early start because it's going to get up to like 95 today. So. Wind's blowing like it always does out here. That's okay. Makes it a little cooler. Here's some. She took some pictures of the fossils on her camera. Can you see the imprint of a shell there? Another one. Can you see the imprint of some kind of creature? Right in the middle there. Here's a pretty good one. I don't know if this is a shell or coral. She would know. But she's out in the field at the moment. So what is it? Um, I'm not really sure. It might be a leaf from a crinoid. That's what the center part of them look like. What's a crinoid? A crinoid is an underwater plant. And you see the little round things are the segments of the crinoid stems. That's what the little round things with the little... Well, I'm determined to find at least one fossil before we leave today. So far, I don't seem to be looking in the right direction. I see things that I think might be fossils, and then I show them to Kay. 
This is not, that's nothing like that. I don't know. Maybe this is right here in that hole. Hmm. I'll take it to her and see what she says. Let me find one more so I don't waste the trip over there. Okay. Oh, a shell? Well, as many trips as you've made here, I'm surprised you're finding anything. Then you told that school teacher and he got us all his students out here. So. <laughs> Who knows how many times they've been here. Probably every year. Because yeah. every year there are more broken rocks. Okay, they like to break them, huh? Oh yeah, shell impression, okay. Mm -hmm. See, like there's a critter in there too. <laughs> See anything in this one? I saw a couple things I thought might be, but probably not. It's probably like the exploding rock here I was talking about. Well, a lot of this is coral, but like I said, yeah. unless you can actually see the shape of the coral, you can't tell people this is coral. See, I'll show you what to look for. See, you can see the circle in that? Mm -hmm. And you pick it up and you look at it and see, now you can see the critter. Yeah. So that's what you look for. You look for organic shapes mm -hmm. in inorganic stuff. Okay. Because like, like a regular rock is going to have stripes, right? but one that has a fossil in it is going to have an unusual, that's a coral bud right there. Okay. So you're looking for the uh, odd, just look for a real odd shape. Looking for odd? Here you are, right here. Found right here where my thumb is a shell impression and i'm not sure i'm gonna to have to go show the expert uh start all over what you okay say? well here's a crinoid impression right here it's very faint just part of it mm -hmm. part of a stem this is a big coral bud coming up out of there this is a piece of coral right here coral stem the branches of it then you've got little bits of impressions. See, there's an impression of a crinoid stem, a little one. <coughs> Here's another piece of shell. This looks like an edge of a piece of shell. And then you can see coral out in here. <coughs> so you got a nice piece there. How about this one? Oh, this is really good. There's, this is all coral. These are pieces of coral. See, you can see a center cut across there and here's uh -huh. a stem of coral. This is all coral. That's really nice. Okay. That's a short thing. Mm -hmm. Do you see the impression? See there's the top. Yeah. Okay, I think they're right right where my thumb's at. I think that's some kind of fossil. Okay, he's having a wow wow Whoa. moment. Look at the crinoid stem impression. I see it, yeah. Turn a little bit. There you go. Here in the shadow, go there. And look at the shells. Very, very, very cool. That's the best crinoid stem I've ever Is gotten. Is this a thing in here? Yes, there is a um, crinoid. That's coral. That's a slice of coral. I think that's the only thing. This is, this is a, a crinoid stem right there with the center of core. Yep. Maybe it's not worth keeping. No, it's worth keeping. See, crinoid stem impression, almost perfect. Good piece, good piece. I probably found about five fossils so far. So for me, that's excellente. Excellente. There's the tin just over there. You get the stem.
down, ma. like conical cuts in it always pick them up because then you find things like this and this and this okay what experts would call your Cretorius springus juncus Here's one full bucket. Fossils. Okay, I might have said there was a sunstone. I don't remember. It's actually a moonstone right over there. Whatever it is, we haven't found any in the past. Mm -hmm. It's a crinoid stem. Okay. It's the imprint of a crinoid stem. Big one. Well, we're going to be on our way in about 15 minutes.